Well, a new signing at uh, Priestfield Stadium today, and uh, this one you'll probably recognise more than most. Uh, Tommy O'Connor's back for the season. Uh, Tommy, welcome back. Um, I'm sure pleased to have your short-term future sorted at a club that you know well. Yeah, no, honestly, I'm delighted to be back. Um, had a good season last year. It was just unfortunate. It was cut short. Um, I felt like we, we were doing well, and uh, it's just nice to get it sorted now and look forward to the season. I'm sure you had other options, so what, in the end, made you decide to come back to Gillingham? I mean, I was here last year and I enjoyed it. Uh, I enjoyed everything about it, really. Um, obviously, the manager wanted me back and uh, I knew a few of the lads here. Obviously, there's a lot of changes, but there's still a few familiar faces and I know the area. So, uh, yeah, everything together kind of just, just came together. So, um, no, it's nice to be back. Of course, last season you walked into the dressing room and you, Alfie Jones. Um, Alfie's moved on, and we wish him well. Have you kept in touch with him since uh, since he's gone? Yeah, no, I, I have. Uh, he obviously, he's got the, everyone knows he's on the hull, but yeah. Uh, yeah, he seems to enjoy it up there. And obviously, Alfie's a good player, so um, I wish him well as well. And I'm sure he'll have a, a good career. The gaffer said last week he was looking for a, a left-sided player just to provide that balance. And you're someone that's quite versatile. You can play left centre back, left back in, in, in midfield, but there's competition for places all, all over the park. Yeah, I've seen, obviously there's a lot of players after being signed and the, they all seem like quality players, so um, yeah, I look forward to the challenge and trying to get into the team and, and keep my place. Uh, I played a good few positions last year, so I kind of know what the manager wants in a few different positions. Um, so it just depends what uh, system he plays and hopefully I'll be able to and make, make a stake in the, in the team. Have you managed to catch the highlights or, or goals from the last couple of games? Yeah, I watched the highlights against Wigan and i seen the two goals from the, the weekend as well. So, uh, yeah, it looks like they're playing well and uh, look forward to joining the squad and hopefully we can push on and move up the table. You, you've been downstairs this morning. What's the mood like in the camp? Yeah, everyone seems positive. Um, obviously, I, I got to meet few the familiar faces again and there's a few few new faces in there so I, I met them for the first time and uh, yeah everyone seems upbeat and seems like a good camp and it was last year as well so uh, yeah I look forward to getting to know the lads and get back trained. Of course we're building up to Saturday's game at, um, at Shrewsbury assuming you're part of the squad what kind of challenge are you expecting there? Yeah tough challenge Shrewsbury played their last I think we got a draw last year it's a tough place to go um, but the farm, the lads are in. Like I said, I expect to go there and hopefully get a win. I'm sure, that's what we we'll be, be aiming for. Um, hopefully, a good performance and three points would be nice. But yeah, wait and see. I know you featured recently for Southampton's under twenty three. So, in terms of match fitness, are you at raring to get going? No work needed. Yeah, well, no, I've played. There's been three or four games since the start of the season, so I've played in them. Um, yeah, the obviously twenty threes is a bit different to first team. The intensity is not quite the same, but I feel feel fit and, and ready to go. Really, lovely, Tommy. Thank you very much indeed. Good luck. Thank you.